Hi, I'm Tiffany Patlin, host of the Tiffany Talks Health and Wellness Podcast, where I discuss tools, tips, and techniques to heal your mind, body, and soul. I am on a godly mission to heal the world. everybody. Today, or this month, is Nutrition Month. March is all about nutrition, so I thought, hey, why not make the first episode of March all about nutrition? So, here we go. I wanted to ask you, how many of you have tried a fad diet, one of the most popular ones, whatever's out there, and it didn't work for you? Mm, I can I can already feel it. A lot of you are like, yeah, that's true. That, that's me. <laughs> um, I've done it too. You know, um, you he I've even heard of friends telling me how oh so and so had such an amazing you know experience with weight loss by doing uh, the keto diet. So I'm gonna try it too, or this diet or that diet, and then they don't work for us. And I have a theory about why that is, um, because we're all different. (laughs) There's no such thing as a one size fits all, at least not today. Today, with so many environmental factors and everything else from our toxic, you know, lotions and potions that we put all over us to the candles. I mean, all of that plays a part in our health. But when it comes to nutrition, we all have different body types. And I talk about this in my book, Unlocking Your Ability to Heal, that one of the ways that you can try to hone in on a diet that is more in line with your specific body type is by learning your somato body type. And there's there's several different kinds. Some people can be an ectomorph or a mesomorph or an endomorph. Um, I remember me, I'm a mesomorph. I can gain weight pretty much easily. It goes doesn't go to one part. It goes everywhere all over my body. And um, if I lose weight, it's the same thing. I lose it all over my body. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I forget which ones the other are. The ecto, I forget if it's if it's really tall and thin, I forget. But there's websites out there. So if you want to learn about your body type, all you have to do is just do a, a quick um, research, Google it, and you'll find tons of little tests they'll ask you to do. And you could do several to see if you come up with the same answer, if you get the same answer, to find out what your body type is. That's what I did. I was like, okay, so I am I would be, you know, categorized as a mesomorph. I'm like, okay. So then I started to research what diet plan, what eating style out there. And I don't like using the word diet. I really don't. But you guys know what I mean when I use that. <laughs> um, I'm really talking about Um, an eating style. What eating style would support a miso type body the best? And what I found for me was a paleo um, eating style would work best for me. And I've actually noticed that that is, you know, quite true. So it's mostly fruits and vegetables, no dairy, no wheat, um, meats, healthy meats. I do eat meat. I eat organic grass fed meat. I do my best to buy the top what I can. We were pur- purchasing the butcher box there for a while and we loved it. It was great. But then my husband found a nearby farm where they are they're so holistic. They are all about mother earth. They are all about feeding their animals the right way um, without the shots and all this kind of stuff. So it's like a really, really good place to get our meat from. So we are now um, purchasing it from there and we support them. So, you know, find a place out there. If you don't, if you're not eating, you know, grass fed meat, why not? That is like the best of the best. And you deserve that. You know what I mean? We deserve to eat the best of the best when it comes to food, because when we're pouring good nutrients, you know, when we're nutrient deficient, we're getting our exercise in because they go hand in hand. We feel the best that we can be and we can show up for others. We can show up as a better parent, you know, less stressed out, you know, full of energy, less fatigued, you know, all that. So it really does play a part in how we just simply show up in life. 
So I encourage you to, to go and figure out what that is for you, what your Somato body type is. And then feel free to come back and comment, and let me know. Um, and here's a statistic for you. 70% of Americans are either overweight or obese. 70%. That is well over than half. Okay, that is way too much. Um, and I know that this is because of processed foods, sugars, simply not eating right. Um, but what I have noticed in my own experience is that choosing organic foods is the way to go. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that try to say it's a sham, this, that, and the other, but I've experienced it firsthand. Not only that, something that maybe some of you might not know is I actually work um, with a naturopathic doctor creating meal plans for cancer patients based off of their LCAT test results. And um, what I learned from this doctor is that she took organic garlic and non-organic garlic and did a comparison. And what she noticed that a lot of the nutrients that were in the organic garlic, like allicin and everything else that kind of helps it become the amazing antibiotic that it is, those nutrients were actually missing from the non-organic foods. Now, if, if you think about it, they're spraying pesticides all over everything. I know they say it's safe, but if it was, then why are men wearing hazmat suits to spray it? Think about that. Our food is porous. It has holes in it, meaning that stuff's going to go inside of it. That's why when we water plants and this, and this stuff can get inside of it, bugs can get inside of it. Like it's not the best that we could be eating. That's why I promote organic eating. And I was there. I was the one that would get mad at my husband for getting those green plastic bags. I was like, no, they're organic. They're going to be too expensive. You know, we were the ones that were purchasing the discounted meat that was about to go bad because my husband was really good at saying like, oh, no, this is still good. We can cook it and eat it. I cannot believe I used to eat that way. Like it blows my mind. But I was doing what I knew how to do. And <laughs> it might not have been the best, but I did what I knew how to do. And I feel like that's a lot of us. Now, if you want to learn more about your specific, you know, unique menu, if you will, I always tell people about those LCAT tests. You can definitely go get one. Um, you can find, you know, a local holistic doctor that is in your area and ask about LCAT testing or do some research, find an office that does that. There's also food sensitivity testing that you can also try or do both. You know, whatever you're able to do, I just suggest you do it. I I actually really want to um, do the um, Everly Well test. Um, it's something that's out there. It's online. It's an at-home test. And I'm really excited. I really want to try it out. When I do that, I will make sure I let you guys know so you can you know, ride that journey with me and I can share with you. I think that would be a lot of fun. And like I mentioned before, exercise and nutrition go hand in hand. You cannot just focus on your, your exercise, your body movement, and then just ignore the nutrition. You will not get the results you're looking for and vice versa. They go hand in hand. I think a lot of people say, why didn't you split it up into four pillars, mental, nutrition, exercise, and spirituality? Well, because I don't want people to look at those two things as separate because they really are one. They, you cannot have one without the other. So that's the reason why I did it that way. There's three keys. It's your mind, your body, and your soul. <laughs> and here's another statistic. Did you know that less than 25% of the U.S. population get enough physical exercise? It's crazy. It's crazy. But I have some solutions for you. Things that maybe you guys haven't thought about. And it's simple. Walking. Walking is so underestimated. Walk every day, walk, take a walk outside. If it's too cold, walk around your house or maybe bundle up extra, you know, bundly to go outside. But I'm not going to pressure you about that because I do not like the cold weather. <laughs> if I don't have to be in it, I won't. So I changed my trifecta where I focus daily on my mental, physical, and spiritual health from going outside to being inside. And I figured out a way to do that for myself. Don't worry, in the future, I'm moving to warmer climates because I want to be able to go outside year round and not have to worry about bundling up. But walking is a great tool, guys. 
walk, just walk. Not only that, swimming. And there's indoor swimming pools. You know, I feel like people don't realize that is a sport, just naturally swimming back and forth. You're moving your entire body. You're getting resistance from the water. It's a great form of exercise. And any sport, find a sport that you love to do. You won't even feel like you're exercising. Find a group, get a group together. Maybe you've always wanted to play tennis. Find some other women that maybe would love to do that so that way you're anxious, you're eager. You want to go every week or every day or whatever you work out, you know, to go do that because it's fun. It's fun and you get to do it with other people in community, but you're exercising. And here's another one, dancing. Now, I know a lot of us are like, oh, I don't want to go dance. Believe me, I was there. That was me. Now I will, I will move and I will dance. I don't even care. That I attribute to my healing. I have to, because that was not me before. (laughs) but seriously dancing. And if you're shy, don't do it in public. You can do this in your bedroom. You could do this anywhere in your house, really, and just play music that you love. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Your favorite songs, the ones that just make you want to get your body moving, those songs that make you, man, I like this beat. That's your body responding and saying like, hey, man, I like this. Let's get moving. (laughs) You know, so dance. That doesn't cost you anything. You could go on YouTube and find a song that you like. You can use Pandora. You know, there's so many options, you guys. There's really, really no excuse for not exercising unless, of course, you're bedridden. You know what I mean? But even then, there's still things that you can do. So I encourage you, if you are not moving your body like you should, I'm just encouraging you, go figure out something that you want to do. Implement that into your lifestyle because it is very, very important. A stagnant body will promote disease. So let's prevent that. I also want to mention about how medications play a a huge part. So if you are taking medications, you know, no judgment to those that do. You deserve to be celebrated for reaching out for help. Um, I just like to offer other holistic solutions that don't add additional side effects to the mix because I feel like we have enough already to deal with, especially if we have, you know, a string of those mental illness labels and what have you. Um, So medications play a part. They naturally will strip your nutrients, your vital nutrients that you need. So that's why it's important to know. Um, And and how do you know that? You see what I'm saying? Like, how do you know what's being stripped of your body by taking a certain medication? It's really hard to know that. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I like to offer another solution. If you're in a position where you don't have to take meds or you could safely get off of them with, you know, supervision from your doctor, of course, that's, we always do this safely, um, you know, then try these holistic methods and see how that works for you because you don't have to worry about it. Any holistic method that I offer, you don't have to worry about it decreasing your nutrients. Instead, we're actually increasing them. We're building them up for you. Um, and you know you know what you're doing. You don't have to worry about any of that extra stuff. So it was really important for me to point that out. Um, I also want to mention how some people gain weight, some people lose their appetite, and that cannot be attributed to medications. And that is not healthy, like I mentioned, because our bodies require minerals and nutrients to thrive. So it's very, very important. The other thing I wanted to touch on is how we tend to adopt the eating style from our caregivers. I say caregivers because we're not all raised by a mother and father. We're not sometimes raised by a grandmother or an aunt or foster care or what have you, but we tend to adopt the eating style from our caregivers. Um, I know back in the days there was like lots of butter, massive meat on the plate, you know, mashed potatoes and bread, really bland foods, you know, and hello, we're supposed to be eating the rainbow. (laughs) Um, I don't feel like, you know, there's those sayings that parents say, you know, well, here's the food that I made and you eat it or you eat nothing at all. But then I think about how pregnant women, when we're pregnant, we will naturally be turned off on eating something. And my belief is because our body knows what it needs. It knows what nutrients it needs. So if you have a craving, I really believe it's our body knowing it's so intelligent and it's telling us what we need. Therefore, we're craving a specific food to get the nutrients from there. For example, I am naturally iron deficient. So every single time my period comes around, 
right before then, I start to take my Floridix because I know how it affects me. And I crave hamburgers. I crave meat. I crave meat like you wouldn't believe. Meat has iron. Granted, so does spinach. So it doesn't all have to be that I do my best to do both or one or the other, not just always just the meat because, you know, variety. We always need variety. So I feel like we shouldn't be forcing our children, you know, to eat certain foods because I feel we each know what our body needs. Here's another statistic. Six in 10 young people aged two to 19 years old and five in 10 adults consume a sugary drink on any given day. There's no need for it though. You want sugar, get some strawberries, you know, put them in your water. Now you have strawberry infused water. You pick any fruit you want, pick your favorite. Not only that, it'll help you drink more water, but you're not putting sugar in your body that you don't need. That's just going to turn to fat in your body anyways. Like let's get rid of the sugary drinks. If you do one healthy thing today, man, I encourage you to switch that soda for a different type of a drink. Find a new favorite. We are responsible for our children's health. Some of us may need to re-educate ourselves, and that is okay. I had to do it, and there's no shame in that. Remember, when we know better, we can do better. So when we know better about nutrition, we're that much better able to, you know, provide for our family and and feed them in a way that's beneficial to everybody. Kids' taste buds are changing constantly. They're constantly changing. Yet how many of us were told to sit still and eat our food regardless? Now, how many of you do that to your kids now? I noticed I was doing that. And when I noticed, my husband and I stopped. We were like, wow, because this is our first kid. And we're like, wow, no, we shouldn't have been doing that. We apologized to my son. And we're like, you know what, son? We realized that we were doing that. And he's like, yeah, making faces and stuff. And we're like, you know what? I'm, I, I told him, I was like, you know, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I, I know why I did it because I was doing what my parents taught me. And I wasn't even thinking twice about it. So now I know better. I'm going to do better. And I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me. Um, and he does, thankfully. <laughs> And like I said, when you know better, you can do better. And the benefits of nutrition. Hello, clear skin. We all want that. Energy. And oh, well, let me, I've had people comment about my skin, how it's pretty clear. But if there's a time where I'm I'm eating maybe a little bit too much junk food because it's the weekend, I'm hanging out with my kids, or, you know, I passed out, forgot to wash my face or something like that, I know I will get blemishes. They will come out. So I work for this. <laughs> I drink tons of water. I eat healthy. I exercise. I do all the things. So <laughs> if you really want clear skin, then focus on your nutrition. I'm telling you, that's where it's at. It gives you more energy. Your hair and your nails will grow. I promise you, they will grow. If your hair and nails are not growing, I encourage you to look at your nutrition. It also gives you increased clarity focus, you become less stressed because you have all these endorphins running through your body. And it's such a great feeling. And then the exercise benefits, you know, you just simply start feeling healthier, you're stronger, you can do things you couldn't have been you couldn't do before. Our hearts will be stronger, our lungs will be more efficient, as they, you know, breathe in and take in air and oxygen for us. And it also improves illnesses like asthma, our immune system will be stronger. Less, that means less illnesses. Uh, We will maintain our desired weight and we will be more alert, ready to work. And like I mentioned, our muscles will be stronger. So um, if you are like, man, I really need to get hold of my nutrition, then I encourage you to try some of the things that I mentioned today. Um, I also want to mention that I am in the process of creating a nutritional course for the physical health section of my business, what I'm doing. And that is going to be done through Cosmic Suites. And so I wanted to let you know, if you are interested and you want to be the first to know when I am rolling out this course, then I um, encourage you to subscribe on my web- website. It's cosmic-suites.com, not underscore. It's cosmic-suites.com. I will have all the links in the description box for you to make it easier. Just subscribe. So when I'm ready, I will be sending out emails And I might just be looking for a couple people to do this for free, you know, as a beta test. So make sure you subscribe because you just might get this course for free. 
So there's that. And let's see. I just wanted you guys to know I'm going to hop off here very quickly. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing an application intensive for the um, my TED Talk, my TED Speech. So those of you that don't know, I'm working on a TEDx speech, and it's all about unlocking your ability to heal. It started about six minutes ago, but they usually do their intros and all that jazz, so I think I have some time. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody listening and watching today's episode. Please feel free to comment with what resonated with you, and if you have any questions, leave them for me. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Don't forget to invite your friends and family to like and follow Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. You can also listen on all major podcast distributions. And my theme for 2022 is to spread the word. And you can help me do that just by sharing this episode with your friends and loved ones. I don't have a quote for you today, but I just want to encourage you, make a healthy food choice every single day. Instead of soda, choose water. Instead of a pastry, choose a banana. Stuff like that. You can do it. I know you can. That's it for me, guys. I'm Tiffany Patlin signing off until the next episode. Stay healthy, my friends. Bye.